Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Business Builder Series. This is Tom Borg, and I've got the second blunder I want to talk about here today that business leaders need to avoid if they're going to be doing the best they can when they lead their organization. So here it is, blunder number two. Leaders who don't sincerely apologize when they have offended someone. On an assignment some time ago, I observed a, a retail department head who had the tendency to be blunt, insensitive, and unresponsive when dealing with his employees' requests. Well, on one occasion, he stepped over the line by not responding to the employee's request for help in dealing with a particular customer. Now, it was an obvious blunder, and he should have known it, but he didn't. His attitude was, well, he was busy and too important to deal with customers. And quite frankly, he didn't like to deal with customers. To make matters worse, everyone in his department knew it. Now, once it was brought to his attention, do you think the supervisor apologized for his mistake? Not a chance. The result, his entire team just silently marked him down a few more points in his ability to be a true leader. Now, what could he have done? Well, first, he'd have to admit to himself that he made the mistake. Then he'd have to recognize that it was going to take some courage and a good deal of self-esteem to speak up and sincerely apologize to this individual team member. The next opportunity and every opportunity, he'd have to be prompt in apologizing for any mistakes that he made. Word to get around and eventually he'd be able to build that trust factor back into his organization. So in summary, when you offend somebody, make sure you apologize and do it quick. If you do, you'll be maintaining the trust you've built up to that factor, to that point, and you'll be able to keep that, that, that confidence that your people will have in you for a long, long time. Now, that's all for this time. I look forward to speaking with you next time when we look at blunder number three, that leaders need to avoid. Thank you.